to move straight the right way. So I, um, I'm am focused and I'm a positive thinker. Okay. And um, yeah, so I say X to all viruses such as corruption, like I say, negativity, lots of things. There are lots of things you can name them. So did how so, somehow did your name, like your real name, has any attachment to that, or you just sat and you you, you just create the name and you feel like okay, this is what I want to be. This is my brand name. This is how I want to brand myself. That name X virus has a lot. Okay. There are lots of things from from all from, from all the angles. So um, um apart from what I told you, um it's um also a unique name which I decided to to, to, to answer because um back in the days when I when I grew up I had um other artist names okay. which I tried to apply but they didn't work out. So okay. but, uh, this one became unique in such a way. Yeah, but if you there are more things I could explain about the X virus name. So I have um, other things, significances of um, lots of things. All right. Now, what is your creative process like? Do you create the music yourself, do your lyrics yourself, or someone do it for you while you just do the singing? No, actually, I'm a writer. I, I do write, and I write for other people. So okay. I create from scratch everything, and then, um, yeah, that's how I do it. I'm, I'm a writer, yeah. Wow. You write for other people? I write for other people, too. People call me, they're like, they're like um, I need this particular brand of the song, mm -hmm. but can you give they, they give me the concept. And I bring out, um, I write. Yeah, I can write even right now. I do writing anytime. Okay. It's in my blood. It's so, right. uh, yeah. So, where do you come from and where you come from, does it somehow affect your music in any way? Um, where I come from, I'm from the Saw tribe. Yeah. Bansaw Saw people, you know them. Mm -hmm. And I want to uh, just say hi to all the Saw people. Okay. Yeah, it's really very, I'm shy. It's very weird. I'm one Saw, I drum. So, um, Actually, um, my uh, my my place from the people from the salt land mm -hmm. are very, as you can see, they're very talented people. Okay. They uh, we have lots of creative artists from our from our area, and you look at the boy division we have them. Um, so um, back there home, we discovered that the music, it's our thing. Okay. You go back, you see the kids, even kids um, below and um, 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 for the, the into music, the sing, and we have a lot, we have lots of songs, especially the fol folklore and jang. Mm -hmm. So uh, and music is a thing for my place, and it doesn't hit my my my, my, my tribe doesn't hit, or my village doesn't hinder my division. Should I say okay. division doesn't hinder the, the the production of music? We encourage our artists, we bring them up, we actually support them, and then that's how the the, the, the sort of people are they're very united. Okay. Yeah. So somehow, where you come from has actually encouraged you a lot, a lot, to yes. do more. Exactly. Because when you look at others, you see what you're doing. That's yes, interesting. Exactly. Now, who is your role model? My who is role that person you look up to? You feel like I want to be like this person. Um, you know, um, back in the days, um, when I got into music, that, mm -hmm. like I said, from choir and my family. I loved um, other artists like um, back in the days. I, I loved Timaya so much. Mm, okay. Timaya was my guy, and we even had an encounter when I was in Nigeria, Lagos. And um, you know, in life, at times when you have dreams, you need to pursue them. Mm -hmm. And um, Timaya, I went to look for him myself when I was in Nigeria. Okay. And um, I, he gave me some words of encouragement, and this um, had to, this boosted up my career. And then I, you know, the, um, apart from the unstoppable passion mm -hmm. that I have for these. Um, he inspired me a lot. Timaya, okay. uh, just to name a few, I have lots more that you can talk about. But Timaya was a great guy back in the days. He played a great role to boost up my career because I was so happy. You know, when you have a role model and then mm -hmm. you come to, you get to, meet the to meet the person and then you guys chat and then he, yeah. he, he welcomes you whenever you want and he, he was like, in the future we could collaborate. So, it, yeah, I mean, I felt really happy and it was really a good time there in Nigeria with him. So you have just Timaya or the Sanada person? I have person. Timaya. Okay. I have, um, um, I have Chidima. I love Chidima so much. Mm. And then we have um, people like, um, um, back in the days we had Duncan Mighty. Mm -hmm. We had um, um, lots of them, them, they are not there today, like um, Duncan Mighty. We had um, Ice Prince and the rest. And then I also like Joe Praise. I love um, Frank Edwards and then all these guys, you know, yeah, I love them so, so much. So, apart from Simaya actually supporting and encouraging you, all the above mentioned role models, do they actually support you in any way? Have they supported you in any way? Yeah, some of them, they did. Like, um, one time when I was in Nigeria, uh -huh. so, um, like I told you, I, I went to Port Harcourt. At that time, I was, um, I went the purpose because I wanted to get in contact with them, Don Kamaiti. Okay. So now, um, um, he, the encouragement he gave me was like, um, he was going to get, connect me to some other Nigerian artists and then he connected me to the Alaba International and then also 
um, the, 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 there's a place in Asaba yeah. where you do all the yeah. musical distributions. Okay. We have uh, the Aba also, the Aba, yes. And, the, and this area has, um, we had a lot, lot, lots of the promoters who um, the, the deal with the Nigerian music pro promotion and the rest. So I had, um, uh, connect, I, I was connected by him to attend most, most of the shows in Nigeria. Okay. I used to go for those shows and those shows encouraged me a lot. So he gave me the free access to other entertainers where yeah. when they had some um, like the, the, the talent shows, okay. I was part, I was opportune to, to, to sit there and then watch other artists perform. I was so blessed and that's a very huge support, you know, to get connected to other Nigerian um, entertainers. It was, it was big, but it was big then and then. Um, yeah, that's how it is. So, so, talking about all these uh, experiences you have gotten over time, describe to me how your art actually is important in our today's society. Yes, it's very important because um, I, for one, have done a lot of um, um, humanitarian um, um, activities and I also put it in singing. Okay. Like the song I did, um, X Virus Thai Hard, is on YouTube. Okay. Anyone can check it right now. X Virus Thai Hard is on YouTube. And um, this song is about it's a message, it's a word of encouragement to the orphans okay. that is trying to give them hope to let them know there's, um, there's, there's a greater future ahead of them. And I'm trying to console them. They should, they should feel happy. And in that song, the lyrics I said, X Virus is um, Go Be Una Mama, Go Be Una Papa. And I've been doing this not just I'm um, talking on the song on my lyrics. I visit the orphanages like the Grace of God Orphanage Bunduma. They, I'm not like, a, like a father to them. Okay. I've gone to other places and um, orphanages um, around Cameroon. So, and apart from that, I, my, m most of my songs are, are moral songs. And I always like to give that positive impact, like um, a message to the younger generation to build them up. Okay. And, um, and I mean, I don't want to, you know, the, the world today, when you're a mentor to many people, you need to always dish out um, mm -hmm. educative messages at times. Okay. And then um, a word of encouragement to the hustling people out there, like the song Wadu um, clearly states, it says, um, 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 that it means um, you put, leave me alone. That's brand so. Then it means in okay. so it says people leave me alone. I keep on doing my thing. Fingers are pointing. So okay. I, I encourage people. I impact a lot of people. So uh, with them um, positive vibes and um, that's how it is. Well, we can only but encourage you to do more. Yeah, and now yeah. I want to ask: Do you have a fan base? Yes, yes, yeah, I okay. do. Okay, so. Can you date your fan? No, no I don't. Know. Actually, that's a very, the very difficult question. But <laughs> actually, in the past, my friends, um, I consider them family. Ah, uh, okay. Even now, because when I started building my fan pay, my, my, my fan base, I was um, I had lots of um, messages from all over, and um, you know, the fans are sometimes very crazy, and um, yeah. they request a lot of things from you. But um, I find it normal because when you have fans, the majority of your fans are your crutch. Okay. Most of them like the crush on you, and um, they tell you things, crazy messages. But um, when you have the ability to control, what we call self-control, sometimes mm -hmm. you just need to give that respect to your fans and let them know you people are family for life. So um, there are time, at times you don't um, go in for. Uh, it's not too. I don't think it's too. It's the best to go in for relationships with your fans because um, um, I know the ups and downs of this kind of the implications at times. But um, okay. but fans are. I respect my fans to the fullest. So um, I think they have a place in my life and um, that place should last forever. No. And I don't want something to hinder the relationship okay. between me and my fans. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, talking about your fans, you know, going through your profile, it's been seen that you were, you just disappeared. I mean, you just got missing. We're looking for you everywhere. Where is this favorite artist? Where is this talented artist? Where has he gone to? Yeah. And you just resurfaced. So what happened? Where have you been? Okay. Um, you know, at times when it comes to the, the showbiz, mm -hmm. you know, the passion keeps you going. Mm -hmm. But um, at times, you don't also forget. When, <laughs> when you keep on releasing songs, okay. as a business mindset, someone who is um, a business-orientated kind of mindset, you need to go back to business. So my advice to the younger artists is that, um, you know, I, there are lots of artists out there that are always um, behind sponsors and the rest. Mm -hmm. And but the time that it takes to get the sponsor, you need to have something going to. Yeah, it's so, Good, good. Like uh, an income generator when you're going into music, no matter the passion, you don't just depend on music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while we're hoping for the best, you need to get something doing. You need a job. 
you need to get um, um, an income generator or something that and if you get an income generator and god bless this i mean you can be the one to even sponsor yourself okay. so sometimes i mean it's necessary because um at times some younger access to get into the showbiz and they're like ah music they pay mm -hmm. this bad they don't have what to eat um, but failing to understand that when you're going into music you need a backup okay while waiting you need to hustle okay so i went so out of the, the, the okay. music scene for a while Okay. And I realized um, after releasing one, two, three, mm -hmm. I made some cash. Mm -hmm. And um, this cash, I decided to invest it. So um, as an independent artist, mm -hmm. I wasn't under any level. I've been working all on my own. Okay. I decided to go back to business and then mm -hmm. pause for a while. And then I got into the business. And then the recome back is what I'm trying to do now with the extra I song. And then I'm, I have to move on. So well, yes, yes, yes. I believe the real comeback is so strong. No, no, of course. God, 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 my back. Jehovah, okay. God, my back. So, are you married? Are you single? No, X Virus is the single guy. I've never been married before. Okay. And um, although, you know, relationships are not, no, no, no relationship is perfect, actually. Okay. I've gone through ups and downs. But um, I came to realize that you need to always, um, for a relationship to hold, mm -hmm. my advice to everyone out there, out of experience, you need to forgive. Okay. You need to forgive and tolerate. Mm -hmm. If you cannot forgive, you cannot tolerate, you're going to divorce the whole world. So, so, so you need to forgive, you need to learn. If you have a relationship with your partner mm -hmm. and you people have ups and downs, everything in life, there are always ups and downs and nobody is perfect. So you need to forgive and you let go of the past. If you cannot forgive, you cannot stay in a relationship. So um, um, I learned from the past. And I'm looking forward to get married. I've never been married before, but I think it's necessary. I think I'm going to So do you're that. simply saying you're not married yes. and uh, you're single and you're searching. And yes, you're ready single, to mingle. Single and searching. This time around, I need to get a <laughs> wife, that lovely wife that's going to put a smile on my face. Okay. And yes, I want to be happy. So relationship is, is, is very important to get married. And I think um, I have that on my agenda this time around. Okay. Yes. So now, looking at the, you know, why we're talking about the people who inspire you, your role models. Yes. You were talking about people out of the country. I want to know, in the 237 music industry, who yes. is that particular artist that encourages you, that inspire you to do what you are doing? In the 237, yeah. Yeah. Okay, 237, we have a lot of great artists, like actually. And um, I have to be very frank. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, I'll just name a few, they are really great guys. Um, we have, um, um, you know, Charlotte Dependa, she's good. Okay. Yeah, um, I would recommend Stanley, you know, too, is good. Um, Tizi Panchak, mm -hmm. these are my guys, um, all of them. Um, Biji Baba, they are good guys, um, you know. They, they inspire me because, um, you know, there are people, I know them, and from the roots, and now they are, they are, they are up there. So I'm always in communication with majority of them. Mr. Leo is, is great. And we have um, artists from Seoul, like Chini Wawai, and we have um, um, Shay Long Tumi Yov, okay. and we have um, lots of them. We have um, 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 Daphne, um, we have, mm -hmm. um, um, we have uh, Mike Monster, all these guys, um, okay. they're, they're great guys. Ask here, and then, you know, we know, and yeah, just to name a few, and um, right. believe me, there, 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 there are many more, they are really, um, they are great, they are great, they are doing great. Okay, Nash so the doors inspire um, you in one way or the other. Now let's talk yes, about yes. Uh, what are some of the achievements you have gotten so far in the music industry? Um, um, lots of things. Um, um, I got um, an international recognition. Okay. That's the most important because um, you don't imagine me uh, when I came out with my songs. Um, this was a dream I had from childhood and I felt like um, I need to get there. It was my wish. Like mm -hmm. it, it, I was dreaming more than Joseph in the Bible. I, I was, I'm one of the greatest dreamers you can think of. So it's very beautiful to have a dream and then you, do, you realize yourself living the, the life living of your dream. dreams. Yes. You're living your dream life and then you see what you hoped for past years. You're living that life. You traveled out of the country. I, I've gone out of the country several times invited by fans. Okay. A fan will give you an invitation for uh, some, they, maybe they have a fiesta party somewhere outside. They're like, I want you to come just do performance and then they'll, they'll pay you flights and stuff like that. And then we have um, a fan base, I have a fan base from overseas, different, different continents that they okay. come from. They surprise me on Facebook, they write you, I'm from Australia, I'm from That's US. That's interesting. And okay. they call you and times, at times when you have projects, they call, they support you financially. Okay. Some fans who are like, um, there are lots of things I've achieved from that because when they see something cooking um, on your stage, it's like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm working on a new project, mm -hmm. something is coming up, they're like, hey, what's the cause of this project? Okay. Did it, can I support? Even, you don't even need to ask. There are fans that are really legit fans that they call you, they support you out of their free will. Okay. They just surprise you with a package. They're like, 
I'm going to send you this amount to support your career. And you're surprised to see that okay. just from your music, just the communication, you have fan base, they communicate you internationally, and that is a beautiful thing. Wow, so, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, so, nice. uh, does music pay your bills? Yes, music pays my bills, and um, it has been doing that for quite a long time. And even, um, um, you know, one thing about music is that um, when you keep on doing your thing, there's one thing for sure there's a PD. And um, I'm encouraging other artists when you're working, don't give up because there's some. Everyone has this time. What we call turn by turn. Okay. So when you're working now, you can see someone is up there. Don't be jealous. Don't be angry. But Let him be. You know, everyone has his time. To ask. That's that's that that's God for you. Then talking yes. about that, if those music pay your bills, right? Yes. Now, why do you really need a backup if actually it's sustaining you? Okay. In life, you know, some people they have um, some people decide to do one thing, mm -hmm. but I'm not that type. Okay. I like to do multiple things. I like to engage myself in more than ten things. Okay. My my dreams are not just uh, apart from the musical scene. My dreams are I need to grow bigger because um, I have plans to change lives of the younger people mm -hmm. generation, the less privileged, mm -hmm. and lots of things. So I need a huge backup even for it that doesn't, matter. So it doesn't distract you because you know we see you're doing a particular thing, you can focus and you do it better. But when you're doing another thing and another thing and another thing at the same time, you get to be so distracted. And by the end of the day, you're in the middle of nowhere. No, no, no. That's not. Um, you know, where you have a point, but for me, mm -hmm. when you're doing something, you need to hustle. You can schedule yourself, and then okay. if you have a business you want to handle and you think it's too much for you, get a manager for that business. Okay. And then that will reduce the load for you. So, um, I think um, I, for one, I do mm -hmm. lots of things. Okay. I like to. I like the. I have the courage. I have that. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I take. I like to take the risk of doing things. Okay. I can get into another business, like ten different businesses, and um, I believe in myself, and I okay. keep on doing one after the other. When I sit at times, I think I'm like, when you know, you know, when I'm talking about backup. Okay. There are times that you can be in the career, and in your career, you get some money. It, it might yield yeah. income at a certain time, and that's why they talk about greener, greener days. Okay. During greener days, you can save, and you know it's not like that always. Yeah. There are times that the music might pay; there are times it doesn't pay. Oh, okay. So you need to be wise to invest during the greener pastures. When the greener pastures coming, you invest in other places so that you have a solid backup in case this one is down. Plan A is down. Plan B gives you the backup. I'm so, so happy you. So, yes, I'm so happy you yeah. cleared it out. You know, yeah. talking about music pay your bills. Someone out there will just sit down like, okay, but if does music pay his bills? Then why should I involve myself in having another backup when I know music is going to put me food exactly, on my table exactly. and do the things and necessary things I need and put me enough money on my table? Yes. So clearly that is the good thing. Now I wanted you to tell us uh, what are some of the challenges you've been facing in the field so far. Okay, like I was trying to say, the challenges are um, when I started. Okay. It was very difficult because um you know at times when you you getting into the the music industry from from scratch. Um, even no matter how good you are, mm -hmm. if you don't have that ability to showcase your talent, nobody will believe in you. Okay. So you have to, from the beginning, I went through a lot. Okay. You need to run after promoters and from one media house to the other because you want people to know, to discover who you are. So at that point, um, nothing was good because um, you need to, um, I'm, I'm pushing a lot of money for promo stuffs and so it takes time for people to believe in you. Okay. So those challenges, um, you run, you go through a lot, mm -hmm. and um, until you get to that point when they have seen one or two stuffs from you and they believe that this guy is up to this task, okay. before you them, they, they start looking for you, they start running after you. So the challenges I had were the financial aspect. Okay. To produce videos in the past, I used to save up money. I go through a lot mm -hmm. to do um, little little jobs up and down, and at times I, it, it takes a while for you to convince people to support you. Okay. And because when you have those those dreams, nobody believes in you. When you talk about music, they say, "Fuck!" They say, "Sit down." They don't want you to talk anywhere. <laughs> okay. So you might go away to have a concert. You have mm -hmm. that talent, but they don't. They will tell you step aside because they don't okay. believe in you. But when they see you up mm -hmm. and you coming up, that's when they. they, they they discovered that, that good that mm -hmm. talent in you they start looking for you they even pay you for your 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 your, your, your talent and yeah so it's been ups and downs before i came to this stage i went through a lot okay. it took me a lot of sacrifice mm -hmm. time 
passion, the consistency, mm-hmm. which um, today you see me, when you see me, I'm down, I'm silent for a while, means there's something actually cooking because okay. I, for one, I'm one of the, one the, the unstoppable pillars of the Cameroon entertainment because no matter whatever it takes, I will keep on releasing and I will keep on doing my stuff for passion. Okay. So if I'm silent, just know something is cooking and I'm having big at stops coming up. So um, I took the challenges in the past, yeah, financial aspect, Mm-hmm. that stress sometimes you go through a lot you want yeah. to do something and nobody believes in you they don't want to listen to you they despise you they don't yeah. want to listen to it so it was I, I went through a lot so, so at times you actually, talk, people tend to give up okay. at that stage so you actually overcame the challenge by yes. doing a backup business now yes. at this point I mean, you can, from your, your talk, you yes. can boastfully say you have overcome some of the challenges. Some of them. Now, how do you see yourself in three to five years from today? You know, um, that's a, it's a nice question, but you know, God actually is mm-hmm. the master plan of my life. So I leave everything to God, Jehovah, to, mm-hmm. you know, some people will say, I want to be this, I want to be that, but, um, you know, God knows best, but I yeah. think I'm... Um, I live my life for Jehovah and I want God to take control. I believe in the three years to, next three years to come. By God's grace, God's special grace, I'll be big and um, I'll be positioned where God wants me to be. Okay. Yes. So what are you doing different from other artists out there to make sure that you hit the targets? To make sure that you get to where you want to get to in three to five years from today? What are you doing different from other artists? What is that unique thing that you are doing that other artists are not doing and you see yourself achieving your goals? Well, about the unique thing, I think um, um, at times I don't go for like competition with um, um, my fellow artists, like trying okay. to be, when you said that, when you just mentioned um, something like, um, what do I do? But well, I'm not trying to say what your question is wrong. Okay. I actually am consistent because okay. at times, you know, even business, there are times that business doesn't move. Mm-hmm. Everything is not usually good all the time. Mm-hmm. So... I decided to be consistent and then I decided not to give up. Okay. You know, when you give up means that's failure already. You confess failure means you're, 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 you're tired. Mm-hmm. But I keep on working and I pray to God and I believe someday things are going to be positive. So that's why I don't, and that's, that's the winning point. When you're a winner, a winner is someone mm-hmm. who despite he doesn't give up. Yes, you see people, they are there, they are everywhere. This man mm-hmm. is ahead of you. You just know that it's not your turn. Mm-hmm. You keep that work, you believe in yourself and you put your head up and you keep on working because you have a goal, because you know you need to reach your target. So I'm that kind of I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an optimistic kind of a guy. Wow. Yes, and I believe I won't, I don't believe in failure. Failure is not in my dictionary at all. So, For sure, yes. slowly but surely exactly, you will get there. Exactly, now, yes. let's talk about your views about the 8020 campaign for films on social media. Yeah, about um, precisely the campaign in Niger, kind of. Yes, playing uh, off of more of local content, 80% of local content yes. and 20% of foreign content. What are, your view, what are your view regarding this campaign? All right, um, I think uh, my point of view is that, you know, I heard about lots of these things on social media. I do follow up all these things, but as a matter of fact, I want to let you know that um, music is um. Uh, if I want to define music, music is um is um, a combination of, of, of instruments or sounds to form a melody, just okay. something like that. That's my own definition. So I think um music is a beautiful um thing, which um is really it can it can move mountains, it can touch anybody anytime. So um I think um when you talk about the eighty twenty of the thing. I heard um, a Cameroonian comedian was CY International or something. Mm-hmm. He mentioned a lot of those things. But I think um, CY should also calm down. Okay. To, I know CY. CY is my man. He's my friend. But okay. um, actually, he needs to calm down because um, actually, when you, when you allow other um, 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 cultures, music from other continents mm-hmm. to flow, it's good because um, when, 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 does that, when does that competition, mm-hmm. it's going to tr- um, help train the other Cameroonian com- upcoming artists to learn to produce beautiful music. Okay. And it's going to um, create that awareness in the, the Cameroonian producers' minds. They should know that they need to invest a, invest a lot of money in their studios. Because um, at times, um, you, when, you, when you impose on people to, 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 to listen to a particular music, 80, 20, the percentages, mm-hmm. is, for me, it's not correct. Because okay. actually, um, music is, is choice. Okay. Some people like reggae, some like hip hop, mm-hmm. some like Nigerian music, some like Cameroon music, 
some like um, 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 different brands folklore and the rest so you shouldn't be imposing on what somebody likes okay you can take a horse to the stream but you cannot force it to drink water so they should allow the music to play in any order i think music is music you, sh you shouldn't stop Cameroon, niger music from playing in Cameroon and the rest it's not a good idea because it's like you're trying to be self-centered okay only on the Cameroonian music which is not correct allow other people to sing do that music because just imagine if you if you take a song now to a studio and you don't do your you don't do proper mastery mm -hmm. and the song is just in disorder it's not well programmed and uh, you don't expect people to just dance just the song, it. which is not good people okay. like good music mm -hmm. and if you want to get into that music field sometimes even if you're trying to reach there but at least mm -hmm. sing a song or write a song which is beautiful with the melody that people like and then when the song is premature it's not ready for release mm -hmm. go to studio and cook again but so they shouldn't over impose on these um you shouldn't impose on people so. to listen 20 80 percent I, I didn't say camera music is good uh -huh. we need to promote it yeah but allow people so to listen to, to what, listen to what some, like. when something is good people will definitely go for it. you don't need to force somebody Find to say this yes. is good when you see a beautiful girl you see a handsome guy you don't need to tell somebody this is a handsome guy this is a beautiful girl you see it yes wow so so, so lastly please on that same point <laughs> okay. i want to emphasize on that point and um, lastly and um, michael jackson said something back in the days okay late michael jackson He's uh, one of the greatest acts um, i also respect his song. also a, a mentor to me because i enjoy his songs he mm -hmm. said there's this word he said fine arts never dies okay fine arts never dies it's true if you release a good song now the next 20 years to come it will not fade out look at bob marley and, and lucky dupe mm -hmm. the songs the song you, you listen to lucky dupe and bob marley all the songs like remember me mm -hmm. one love those songs are day they're fresh it's like they were released today so mm -hmm. i mean you will not tell people don't listen to their songs. This no, still talking about that. Still on the same yeah, point. Still, still on the same point. Yes. Now, don't you think Cameroonians somehow they are exaggerating? They are being exaggerative. Look at the uh, Nigerian as a song, Kiss yes. Daniel's song, Buga. Yes. Now, just uh, just a flag of Cameroon was being displayed in yeah, that video. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole social media is talking about it. So don't you think somehow we are kind of exaggerating in this thing of mostly supporting foreign things? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you have a point, you have a point. Cameroonians, they really like to, their problem now, yeah, what you're saying, you're correct. So okay. they, sometimes they exaggerate really. Yeah. Because if you look at them, you know that track um, is, um, has gone super viral just yeah, because the Cameroonians song. are like, wow, this is mm -hmm. good, this is nice. But um, when, when I look at the Cameroon industry, the Nigerian in music industry back in the days when I was in Nigeria, when the video released and Dami Dura and the mm -hmm. rest, the industry was not as big as the, like 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 as, as now yeah. because these guys actually worked and um, their ministry they fought for them. So okay. I think um, the, in Cameroon here, the Ministry of Arts and Culture, and they have a very a big role to play to change lives of the artists because that talent is here is flowing, but them, um, um, that encouragement. Mm -hmm. I want to be very frank about this. It's a fact. The encouragement. The level of encouragement to Cameroonian artists is, is, is low and poor. Okay. I want to say this is poor. So I think um, they can do something about this. And then, um, you know, um, you, cannot, you cannot say something is good when uh, you, you cannot be in a, in, a, in, a, in a situation where you're in bad, your, your health is not good, and then you're trying to say you're in good health. No, when you're sick, you're sick. So we need um, a lot of um, 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 corrections. We need a lot of, um, 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 of, of work in the industry. We need people that will rise and uh, bring up, build that industry. Then we need to stop being jealous of one another. We need to, Nigerian artists are very united. When, when I was in Nigeria, Timayas, Whiskey, all of them, they unite. They don't okay. exclude others. So, so we lack this unity. Where now, Cameroonian artists are not united. They have um, a particular crew. They stop. They, they, they team up, okay. and then they don't want to see this particular crew. Now, they, them, they need to unite. Then we have that um, that energy to hit. So when okay. we are when we are separate, when we are scattered, mm -hmm. when we are disorganized, that when, the absence of unity and love, we cannot grow. Okay. Now you have the seen it. You have seen it. You have seen this as a love hole. You have seen yeah. this. You have seen this as a problem, as a challenge. Yeah. So in your opinion. What can this industry do, or what can the Cameroonian uh, musicians do to get united, to be united together, so that we can work together and make this industry a greater one? Okay, they, they, they need to stop being jealous of each other. They need to hustle together and, and, and believe in one another. Don't, um, um, at times, there are a group of artists that they will tell you, 
uh, if this concert is going on, this man on the poster, if he's in this show, I will not perform because this man is on set, he will be dead, is that. Okay. Those things um, the, the, the help to bring down the industry to zero. And believe me, if we continue like that, we'll keep on talking about, you see, the Cameroon industry that we, we actually admire the Nigerians because why? They unite, they work together, they, okay. they, they like progress. So, so what are the mechanisms should, do you advise that they should put in place for this to be realized? Now you're just talking and said, yes, they should get united. Everybody has been saying, yes. let's, get un let's be u united together, let's get together, let's be together, let's work hand in hand, hand in gloves. People say that, but what are the mechanisms you think should be put in place for this to be realized? I think um, the love should begin from social media. Okay. When you're an artist and you're up there and you have upcomers coming in, let me just quote an example. Okay. You need to, um, sometimes you share their post. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you call some, you encourage them. Okay. You, 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 you visit other labels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, those things, they'll help a lot. And then wow. we need to know that um, um, at times, um, trying to bring up others brings you up too. Yeah. So you can never be a superstar on your own alone. So when you want to have that, um, that, that respect, that popularity to a certain level, mm -hmm. and you keep that legacy that is going to last, and then um, people will remember you like today, okay. they remember people like, you see great people like Nelson Mandela and all these other people, they cannot be forgotten. Martin Luther yeah, King and the rest because, because they, others. they did things. Okay. So now, if, we, if we do these things together, unite, mm -hmm. and then we accept that, you know, there is, and some people want to be um, um, the thing they are God. Mm -hmm. They want to be God over others. That's what is not going to work. Okay. So pride, they should stop pride. The pride is not good. I, for one, I'm a very humble guy. If you check my profile and where the places I go to, I visit them, um, the less privileged, the younger people in the society, I move with them on the street. Sometimes okay. people are like ex virus, what kind of people that this would work out there? I say, no, they are, they, are, they, are, they are the future leaders, and we need to, you don't, you don't have to underestimate people. Okay. You say, don't, why are you moving with this kind of person? Why are you this man, is, this low class person, this man is okay. this? We are all human beings, and yeah. the eyes of God. Yes, yeah, so we all should together. learn to put down the pride. That's the first point, pride. Pride kills a lot. In the, some people feel like um, they, they, they are God and they have to work on, on, on others mm -hmm. and then um, they, 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 they think they will live forever. Or, wow. No, no, we are humans. Right. We are, we are mortals. Now, yes. that is... Uh, they should calm down. That, they need to calm down. Okay, those are the points you think should, we should do. They what should calm down. Yes, and then the Ministry of Arts and better. Culture, the Ministry of Arts and Culture um, needs to play a great role because if they want to excel in our music, um, the Ministry of Arts and Culture, they need to... I mean, I mean, they go into the art system and, um, okay. and, and act. Okay. When they talk about acting, it means we see the results and yeah. then we change lives of others and practically, so um, not by talking. I was about asking you yes. what you think because you were telling me about your perception of what you think should be done to better the industry. Yes. Now I was about asking you what do you, do you think the government of Cameroon can do to better the industry? Now you're just talking about it. Do you think... Just uh, the art and culture. Don't you think they should encourage more award ceremonies and the award ceremony should be fair enough, not yes. man no man kind of. Exactly. Okay. So if you want to do if you, if you want to do good music without them, um, 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 without them, um, 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 like good music, like to, if you want to excel, good music without obstructions, mm -hmm. we need to first of all accept the truth. The truth is when you accept the truth. We have real things happening because um, okay. when um, you bring in um, politics into music, mm -hmm. it destroys the music because um, we need to have the, 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 the reality of what is going on, mm -hmm. facts. When something is red, you see it says yellow. Mm -hmm. So we have artists on the ground who are very talented, but they cannot shine because one, um, there are some people up there who don't want progress. They block mm -hmm. other people from shining, from excelling. So, so, so those people up there don't mm -hmm. think you will live forever. Mm -hmm. You have to always acknowledge the fact that we have upcomers who are talented mm -hmm. and give them this, their space in the society to shine also. So we need to do fair things, fair play, okay. and then we, we call red, red when okay. it's necessary. So don't see someone who is a talented, then mm -hmm. you don't want to give him space because you want to discourage him to mm -hmm. go out of the game. No, it doesn't. So that, what is do bad. You, that is very bad. So what do you think the government of Cameroon should do to better the industry? The government of Cameroon, we have all what it takes. Okay. They have all what it takes to change the game. We have beautiful artwork from all tribes, all cultures in Cameroon, okay. the Bamile Kings, um, we have them, the, the band saws, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the francophones too, the, the Bikusi and the rest, they, they are good. But now, um, I think we should do a fair play, whereas um, we shouldn't promote just because um, this man is an anglophone artist or a francophone artist. Okay. We should not discriminate. Discrimination okay. should not be into the game. Okay. And that's destroying the game a lot because 
when you want to look at talent and bring up people and then the, the upcoming ones that are still trying to get there before whoever became superstar today started from somewhere mm -hmm. back in the days so when you see something growing up in Cameroon, the, 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 the disease that we have in Cameroon is a very big disease that is going on. That disease is when you see an upcoming artist, mm -hmm. you don't want to listen to him. Okay. You only want the person who, the, 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 that guy who's already established, who has blown, before you start calling him your friend, you want to take him for show. <laughs> Learn to encourage the younger artists mm -hmm. to, 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 it's like a farmer in the, in the, in the garden. Okay. When you plant maize, mm -hmm. you need to water the maize, you need to um, extract the weed from it, to, so that it will not, it will, it's not going to die down. Okay. You need to, yeah, you need to nurse so, talent to grow. So they, 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 they cause a lot of 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 of, of, of um, atrocities like havoc, killing talent. Lots of talents um, in the industry they are missing today because they are discouraged. So when that they are is, superstars that, that they are making, so they don't have why, that opportunity to okay. go far. So that's why you came in as ex virus to. Yes, to where they came to okay. keep that because <laughs> I don't, I don't believe in all those mad things and uh, uh -huh. whether you keep on talking what i do is i busy work because i'm um, you know when you focus okay you avoid distractions you get to your destination so how many songs have you released so far i have too many songs and i'm on youtube and okay and uh, there are too many too many uncountable and i see i have some that i release but then i i work on the ground and then when it's time for release sometimes i do the demos i keep them then i release at the right time so there are too many more than more than 50. so this year i have more than 50 songs and wow. i've recorded five Okay. I released El Shaddai and there's something coming up again soon and um, I'm just trying to observe so um, that's, that's it. Okay, so I was about asking about any recent project, any upcoming activity you're planning to do, an album or maybe? Yes, I'm, 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 I, I actually intend to release, um, I have albums coming up, I have singles too okay. and I have lots of projects um, coming up um, in and out of the country. But um, x -Virus is also always very open Okay. to um, 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 to, I'm open to ideas. I welcome um, any ideas from anyone, anywhere. I'm an independent artist, like you know. Yes. And, um, yes. So uh, I'm open to ideas all okay. the time. I'm open. Yeah. So where can one get to you? Maybe your fans they're actually watching at this moment. Where can they get to you? Which platform should they get to you? And on what name? Okay. Um, on uh, YouTube, um, I have a new YouTube channel which um, I decided to, to to create because um. At, in, in the past, I was using another channel, okay. my, my, my former director's channel. So um, the X, this X Virus official, okay. that's my channel on YouTube. The name X Virus official, and then um, my Facebook page, access page also X Virus official. Same, um, Instagram X Virus official, and then you can type on Google. If you type on Google, you type X Virus with a Z, X V I R U Z. You're gonna see all results on all the platforms where I'm. You can check it right now. X Virus official on. Uh, yeah, social media everywhere. So Google X virus on Google and you see my tracks and all other platforms and where I am. You see it on Google. So any message to your fans out there? Yes, I want to give um, um, a shout out to all my fans out um, and um, I just want to let them know um, God's time is the best and um, everything is, um, it works out under God's appointed time. So we don't need to hurry in life and um, just know that um, I'm working. Okay. Lots of things on, in the pipeline and then um, by the grace of God, we'll get there soon. So let's be, let's believe in each other and um, never underestimate yourself in anything you do in life. Okay. So um, I want to give a shout out to some people around. Um, I want to first of all say each Come other. on, not so soon, <laughs> not so fast. Okay, sorry, okay. 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 now you're showing your fans love. You're sending them a message. Why don't you do them an a cappella, a very short a cappella? All right. West Don X virus, Jane Bena, they mo one vini rum vera, about with him amigo delay vera, a one ling on ni sheria, venagana yen mo will be ni carrier, a bike a biki be sheria, yen ma ye will jen bena, a yi be a yi be a ven ma team wa dwa, ven ma team wa dwa, eh, a loja ganya, a romaki walkie, a loja drama, that's in band so, so it's a, the past song everybody knows about. Okay, so why inspire the song? The, what they, what I got inspiration from that song is about when you do your thing in the society, people keep talking. Okay. So that song says, um, Martin Wadua means in, in the Bansok language, it means you push, leave me alone. Then Martin Wadua means leave me alone. Okay. And because I, I got tired of what people keep on talking, so I have to go and focus. So that's the meaning of the Martin Wadua in that song. Okay, Swagger King, can yeah. you do a shout out to all the CMTV viewers at this moment? All right, I want to. 
I want to say, um, I want to tell everybody, um, keep watching, watching um, the, the Star Bilang. It's a very powerful program. And um, I want to give a shout out to the, the, the CMTV crew and um, all the viewers out there. This is a beautiful place. Um, keep on watching this channel. It's a wonderful place to be. And um, um, you're going to get lots of things, entertainment from this channel, 100%. And I myself am one of the biggest fans of the CMTV. And um, ciao, that's it. Shout out to your fans. I want to say shout out to the fans, everybody out there, and um, um, all the VIPs in town. I want to say shout out to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, that's my man. I want to say shout out to you, um, all the people who are trying to, 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 to the, 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 the forces of law and order, <laughs> and, um, yeah, because they're trying to protect. And I want to say, um, let there be peace in our land, because I know there's nothing more better than peace. Peace is very, very important. And um, I want to say my condolence to all those who to are going through a lot will yeah there are lots of things going on now i don't want to say you know, okay yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of sorrow people crying okay yeah, yeah so bad that's right? said, god god is gonna yeah see us through god is gonna see us surely through. god is on the throne yeah. that said you know i would love to keep you here so we keep talking and talking and talking and talking because this is that show that gives you the opportunity to relax to feel free be happy be loved and be interesting yeah. but as it is you know as it is you know they say that Feeling good is good business yes. and music is food for the soul. Yeah. So if you see someone who is doing music, for sure you get to encourage the person, get to encourage the person to do more. So you can always no. encourage our Swagger King here to do yes. more. Wherever you meet him, you try to encourage him and please do well to support his music. And of course, you can send him words of advice when need be. And it was a pleasure having him here on set. I feel like we should keep talking and talking and talking, you know. On C on CMTV and precisely Star Belong, it is a show that gives you the desired love, the desired relaxation and the desired entertainment. Of course I feel like let me keep talking with him. But as it is <laughs> we have to quit for other interesting programs to come up. That's it. Let's do a bye bye. From us to him. Bye.